Tuesday, May 8. My Personal Potential When our personal ministries leaders call for volunteers to be involved in witnessing and evangelism, we often think that many people are more qualified and gifted than we ourselves are. Others seem more confident and capable. However, the Bible reveals to us that God is not necessarily looking for those who are the most qualified as much as those who are willing to be used, whatever their gifts and talents. A good example of this is when God called Moses to deliver his people from Egyptian slavery. Moses could see many reasons why someone else would be more qualified to do what God proposed. In Moses' mind, he had what he thought were good reasons not to do what the Lord asked of him. In response to a call to evangelistic action, many modern-day believers echo some of Moses' concerns. Who am I to be considered for such a task? What if they ask me some hard questions? I am not a good enough speaker. God knew Moses' potential, and despite his personal fears and concerns, he was the right person for this special task. On the other hand, we must guard against overconfidently running before the Lord. While it is true that we should often search our own hearts to evaluate where we are at spiritually, We need also to understand that the human heart can be less than objective with self-evaluation. Therefore, it is also good to ask God to examine us and show us our true condition, because our condition affects our potential. Consider now Psalm 139. Why did David ask God to search his heart? What lessons are here for us, not just for witnessing, but for our walk with the Lord in general? Here are excerpts from Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. You formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret, and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they all were written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my anxieties, and see if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting."